Hello, hello, and welcome to today's video. My name is Laura, and this is my channel, a li Laura's Little Library. I am super excited for today's video. Today, I am doing a bookshelf tour. The sun keeps going behind clouds and it messes with the lighting. So I did do a bookshelf tour last year, but a lot has changed since then. I am doing a new bookshelf tour because not only do I have a new bookshelf, which is not news to you if you've been to my channel, you know that I got a second bookshelf, but since my last bookshelf tour, I have a new shelf, I've moved apartments, and I have gained a lot of books. So I thought mm, it's time for a new bookshelf tour, especially because also the last one that I did was a bookshelf tour but also had all of my spooky decorations on my bookshelf so I had like all kinds of decorations and knickknacks and whatnot but I I think that I need to have just a basic good old-fashioned this is what my shelves look like regularly bookshelf tour and I especially wanted to do this now not only because of everything that has changed but also because um, I'm about to decorate my shelves for Halloween and for spooky season for fall and so I wanted to get this video done before that happened. Also, I am so sorry the lighting keeps changing. The sun keeps going behind clouds and coming out and I just, I'm having such a hard time timing like when I talk with when the sun is out. So, we might just have to deal with that but I will do my best. Anyway. There isn't much more that I really need to say. Um, I'll do a voiceover kind of explaining different sections of my shelves. I won't go through and read book by book what I have on the shelf. Um, I'll just give an overview and you can feel free to like pause the video and actually look at every title if you really want to. But if that's just long and boring for you, then don't worry, I'm not going to do it. So yeah, we'll just get right into it then. Alright, so we are going to go ahead and start with the very top shelf on my tallest bookshelf, and this one's not very interesting. It just has a lot of my dictionaries, maybe cookbooks, um, activity books, crafty books, really just anything that I don't spend a lot of time with or aren't interesting and I don't want in the videos. On top, I just have some wedding decorations. Moving to the next shelf under, I have some of my older books as well as some of my classics. On the right are some of my old and classics. And then on the left I have Twilight and I have The Maze Runner, The Selection, just kind of those older books that I really want to keep holding on to. And then I have a cute little square with a whole bunch of sayings on different sides, so I have Stay a While up on that one. As we move further down, we get to more of the books that I like and want to feature. And these don't really have much of an organization to them other than they are books that I enjoy that I want to keep on my shelves but aren't my favorites and don't fit into any other category. I do see that my Agatha Christie book should be moved to the shelf above to fit in with my classics, but I have some other series, I have some sci-fi on here, I have just little bits and fragments. This is my favorite shelf, this is the one you can see the best in my videos and it really hasn't changed much over the years. It has my favorite books on my shelf which are a lot of fantasy, a little bit of sci-fi, one contemporary. These also happen to be most of my mythology based books or my most culturally diverse books as well. Those tend to be my favorites. And below that is the bottom shelf, the very last shelf, that has my contemporaries on the left side, my most colorful, and some of my more random favorite books on the right of either independent books or books where I don't own the entire series. And I've got the Tea Dragon Society all the way on the right because this is the only shelf they will fit on. As you can see, I have plenty of books stacked on top of each other on this shelf. Thank you. 
Then moving on to the half shelf right next to it on top here are all of my husband's books. I tried to make as many of them fit as could possibly fit on top of the shelf. He's got these little elephant bookends to keep them safely on top of the shelf. He reads mostly nonfiction. And then the first ones on top of my books are my historical fiction on the left and my Disney Twisted Tales on the right. Normally I have my historical fiction sorted um, by country and right now they're not but that's because I've been rearranging them but normally they'll be by country and then Disney Twisted Tales used to be by Rainbow but now they are by which ones I've read and I'm debating if I want to put the ones I've read in rainbow order or in order of my favorites and then just have the ones I haven't read in the middle of the shelf. My roommate just gave me these cute little H-O-M-E book decorations and so I decided to put those by some of my favorite lesser read genres. Below that is the shelf where I do have my Harry Potter books. I do not support JK Rowling anymore, but I have not gotten rid of her books just because of what they meant to me growing up. I also have my Divergent books. Again, these are books that I just don't want apparent in my videos, but I still have. And then that little gnome there, I'm going to call him my TBR troll, even though he is technically a gnome, and he's going to be by the books that I have not read yet, so books that are on my TBR, which is what that big empty space is for. I will be acquiring books, and I will be putting the books I haven't read there in that spot. So I already have a designated area on the shelf for them, and I do have two books on the left there that I have not yet read. Below that, I moved the Selection series as well as the Maze Runner. I don't have two copies of those. I actually moved them mid-video because I can't decide on where I'm keeping things even as I'm going through. So again, out of shot, just some old series that I loved. And then Homegoing by Yagyasi is in the middle there. But everything to the left of it are books I have not yet read. So those will be under the domain of the TBR troll. And again, there is some space there for future books that are coming very soon. However, I do not believe that the space there and the space on the shelf above will be enough. So this is an overall view of my bookshelves. As you can see, I have a full shelf and a half a shelf, which is pretty wide. I would love to get a full shelf next to it, but I don't think it would give me that much space. And as you can see, I don't really have a lot of space next to them. There's a closet on the left side and the shoe rack on the right side and the door opens right on the other edge of that shoe rack. So there really is not space for another bookshelf to accompany these two. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I would love to know how your shelves are categorized or how they're organized, if they are organized at all. If they're not, also let me know. Um, if you like this video, subscribe. I post every week on Thursday, but because it is spooky season, I will actually be posting two videos a week for the next month and a half, which I'm super excited about. So make sure you hit the bell icon so that you can be notified when I do upload. Also, I'm active on a bunch of bookish social media accounts, so look in the description below to find all of my social media accounts and feel free to just follow me. Let's be friends, let's chat about books. And if you want to see last year's video, um, that link will also be in the description. I have very similar Halloween decorations and those will be going up and you will see them in next week's video. But yeah, I believe that's everything. Thank you all so much. And, and until I see you all in my next video, I wish you a happy reading.